Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to be previewing the 2024 Stanley Cup Final matchup between the Florida Panthers and the Edmonton Oilers. So lap right into it today, starting with the path that both teams took to get to this point in the Stanley Cup Finals. And of course, for the Florida Panthers, this was a team that has battled through and through. You started, of course, with the Tampa series, a 4-1 series victory for them. And this was a series that you sort of saw, you know, what is this Florida Panthers team going to look like in this postseason run? And we really saw it, you know, whether that be the goaltending, whether that be the forward depth, whether that be the defense. This was a team that was in it to win it this year, coming off of a tough loss last year to Vegas. It was I was very interested to see what kind of Florida team would come out of the gates, especially in round one against a tough Tampa team. And boy, did they ever impress. Moving on to round two, where they played my Boston Bruins. And this was another series where start to finish, you know, the Florida Panthers were a team that just looked dominant. And this was a team that I that definitely looked like they were poised to make a very deep run in this postseason. Third round here, uh, Florida won in six games over the New York Rangers. And this was yet another series, right, where... You, team like the New York Rangers, the big bad New York Rangers, what are they going to do? Probably steamroll them. I know I've certainly predicted that in my NHL Stanley Cup playoff bracket. I, I had, uh, I think it was Vancouver going all the way in the other one. Uh, but at the same time, you know, the Rangers to me were a team that on paper should have definitely taken care of a team like the Florida Panthers. Yet, time after time, we saw it. The Panthers are a team that are going to stick to their structure and beat you the right way. And that's exactly what they did in this series. Every mistake that the New York Rangers made seemed to end up in the back of their net. We'll see if that's, that success continues as they will play the, the Edmonton Oilers in the Stanley Cup Final. Now let's take a look at the home side. Not really the home side, but the home side for us here in Canada. Finally, we have another team back in the Stanley Cup Finals. Of course, a little bit of demons for these Canadian teams. Last time a Canadian team won the Stanley Cup was the 1993 Montreal Canadiens. So a little bit of pressure riding on the backs of a nation here, especially a hockey nation with Canada. For the Oilers, lots of pressure on them. But we'll start it off here, of course, with round one. And this was, you know, one of those series with the between the LA Kings and the, and the Edmonton Oilers where you sort of saw a little bit of the testing grounds. And I think for me, at least in that series, was really indicative of what these two teams were going to be. The Oilers were really tight and, and close in this series with the, with the Kings, but still you could tell they were just a little bit that much better over the LA Kings. And this sort of was indicative throughout the entire series of that in general. You know, the, the Oilers just looked like the better team and they played that way through and through. And we've seen a little bit of goaltending problems, which we'll get to in a second here, with the second series. And this was between the second round between the Vancouver Canucks and the Edmonton Oilers. And this was one, once again, highlighted by a lack of goaltending. We saw Skinner go down in this one. You know, you said you had the Demko and uh, the Smith problem in Vancouver, so both goaltenders seem to be out, and this was one that was fairly well expected. You have Silovs and Net for Vancouver. You know, you had a couple different guys who are, just looked like they were ready to go for Edmonton. So for Skinner, you know, sort of get back in the net, find his groove. This is what you needed from him in this one. But 4-3, Game 7, Edmonton took it, moving on to the third round where they were going to play the big, bad Dallas Stars. And this was a Dallas Stars team that looked poised for another deep playoff run, you know, on paper, just like the Rangers against the Panthers, they were a team that just looked like they were going to take that next step and make it to a deep, deep, real deep playoff run. They have a deep lineup. They have everything deep. But at the end of the day, the Edmonton Oilers, led by their star power, found a way through, took this one in six games, which brings us to the Stanley Cup Finals between, of course, the Edmonton Oilers and the Florida Panthers. This is going to be a good one. We'll flip it over now here to this actual matchup, starting with the history between these two teams in the playoffs. No playoff history, of course, these two teams are relatively new. I mean, Florida Panthers been to the, the Stanley Cup Finals twice. The Edmonton Oilers, a little bit more historic. Last Cup was in 1990, of course, with the Wayne Gretzky era. But their last Stanley Cup Final appearance was in 06. So we'll see if they can have any success there in bringing a cup back home to Canada. We take a look at this season. Two games between these two teams. First one was on November 20th, where the Florida Panthers did win 5-3. Second game, 5-1 victory on December 16th, 
for the Florida Panthers on the uh, in the away side. We'll see if home ice has anything to do with it. Of course, Florida does have home ice. We'll now flip it over to the injury report for both these teams, and you guessed it. It's the playoffs. You're not getting anything. So in that sense, as of right now, we can say it. There are zero injuries to report but of course we all know there's a couple banged up guys this next week remember there's still six days before the nhl stanley cup finals begins starting on saturday lots of time to recover especially for a lot of these players that have had really been through the ringer these last couple weeks so we'll see if they have time to recover and get back to 100 percent just before puck drops for the stanley cup finals and the last one, or sort of the last one here, we'll take a look at some of the key players. And this is the X factors that we always talk about. My first one for the Florida Panthers is Brandon Montour. Three goals, six assists, and a plus one. He is a player, though, that I always look towards in the playoffs. You saw him last year with X Blad out. What is he going to do to step up into the next role? He's a player that always seems to take it to the next notch in the playoffs. We'll see if he can do that in this one. Another player I'm looking at is a guy like Sam Bennett. He's a player that we really saw shine in that Boston series. Coming back off of injury, I was, I was curious to see what he was going to do. Still, you know, he's, he's shown himself. He's a physical player. He gets in your head, pl plays a lot like Kachuk. You know, he's going to be that physical guy. Knock, knock Brad Marchand out of a, out of a game uh, on a cheap hit, whatever you want to call it. It's how you play in playoff hockey. But here's the thing, you know, he's still a great player. 12, 12 games played in this so far in this playoff, six goals, four assists, and still lighting the lamp, which is exactly what he needs to do. Get under the opponent's skin and make it hurt. So when you look at it, Sam Bennett is a player that I'm definitely looking towards in the series, especially when it comes to shutting down a really skilled line, getting under the skin of a guy like McDavid, who, you know, if they can find a way to shut down McDavid, Dreisaitl, Hyman, if they can shut that line down, this series might be over in four games. Definitely one to take note of. The last one is Sergei Bobrovsky, and I know, I know, I picked two goaltenders yet again, but at the same time, this is one that has to make sense. When we look at a guy like Sergei Bobrovsky and Stuart Skinner for the goaltenders, they are going to be a crucial part to both teams' success here. As of right now, 908 save percentage and 2.2 goals against average for um, Sergei Bobrovsky. But at the same time, take these numbers with a little bit of a grain of salt. A lot of the goals scored on Bobrovsky came from that first series against Tampa, where you know they were a little bit more eager to trade chance for chance. We've seen it time and time again so far, and especially as these playoffs have rolled around, Bobrovsky has looked like the playoffs of old. He is a dangerous goaltender to try and score on. For Edmonton, they're going to have to find a way to crack through, especially early in the series. If they want any shot at this one. And now let's take a look at the home side, Edmonton Oilers, with who are my players that I'm looking towards. First one is Evan Bouchard, and you might be wondering, yeah, he's looked pretty good. In my opinion, he's probably going to be the playoff MVP if Edmonton can win. In my opinion, Florida, uh, Bobrovsky will be the obvious contender. But at the same time, six goals, 21 assists, and a plus 14 for Bouchard. He's a player really taking this next step at this in this NHL playoffs. Wouldn't be surprised to see him take another big step here in the Stanley Cup Finals. Will be crucial to Edmonton's success. The second one, we already talked about him a little bit. Zach Hyman, 14 goals, 4 assists, and a plus 9 rating. He's another guy that I really look to in the series to take that next step and really separate himself in this. Obviously, he's the goal scorer of that line. We'll see if he can continue that success there. And the last one here, we talked about him already a little bit, but Stuart Skinner, 897 save percentage, 2.5 goals against, and has been chased out of his net already in this playoffs. He will be a crucial part to the Edmonton Oilers' success, especially if he can really lock it down. You know, Edmonton's a good team. They're able to keep and limit chances very similarly to Florida. It's just going to come down to who can strike first and who can strike, off, strike often. That'll really determine this series. We'll take a look now at the keys to success for both teams. First one is fool me once for the Florida Panthers. We think back to last year. Big problem for them was getting started, especially early. We'll see if they can right the ship in this series, especially early, to see if they can really find ways to put pucks on net against Skinner, who's looked shaky so far in this playoffs. Second one is Pounce, and we've seen this. We'll talk about it a little bit with Edmonton. It's key to success. But one of the things that Edmonton has done in this in this playoff so far, as soon as they go up early, they play a very trap style. They lock everything down, and I'll be curious to see if that continues in this one. 
And the third one is the Kachuk factor. It's sort of tying into the next point with the McDavid factor. Kachuk is a player that re is really good at locking down, locking down offensive threats, getting under the skin of, her, of his opponents. Once again, look at a guy like McDavid. That line is the bread and butter of the Edmonton Oilers. They're able to shut that line down. The Oilers are going to be out of this one in a real hurry. But of course, time will tell on that one. McDavid is a, still a skilled player, makes everyone around him better. Definitely one to watch for in this series, especially if he can get going. Bobrovsky might have a problem there. Second one is the collapse, and we talked about it. They like to play a very collapsing style. So if you're the Florida Panthers, you have to take advantage of that, especially if you can find ways to knock the Florida, or knock the Edmonton Oilers down early. You know, if you can take control of the game, it's very difficult for Edmonton to come back. So definitely something to look for there. And the last one for the Edmonton Oilers for their keys to success is you are Canada's team. Welcome to the pressure. We always see it with the Leafs. What's going to be going on there? Definitely one to be paying attention to. Obviously, the entire nation is behind Edmonton now. We want to see a Canadian team win the Cup once again so we can ignore all of my friends from all the other countries that like to make fun of us saying we're the hockey country but haven't won the Cup in a long time. We get it. It's coming. It's coming home. We'll see if they can do it here. We'll break down the matchup here. Sort of who I think has the edge. Offense for me has to be the Edmonton Oilers. We look at just the offensive firepower. We will see what goes on there. Just the way they're built, though. You think about it, McC David Dreisaitl Hyman up the front. That's a pretty solid combo and really blows away anyone on the Florida Panthers. We'll see if that happens there in this series, whether or not the offense can get going. Because when we look on the defensive side, the Florida Panthers have the edge here. Look at a guy like Brandon Montour or Aaron Exblad. He's going to be, both those guys are going to be crucial parts to the success for the Florida Panthers. So I'm going to give the slight edge there to the Florida Panthers. You might disagree. There is a very slight edge. And the last one here is the goaltending. I think this is pretty unanimous across the board with Sergei Bobrovsky over Stuart Skinner. But nonetheless, remember, hot goaltenders can win you series so we'll see in this one if Skinner can get hot at the right times overall I'm going to take the Edmonton Oilers in seven games and one last point here we will take a look at the schedule coming up so on June 8th will be game one June 10th game two June 13th will be game three June 15th will be game four and then comes the if necessary games for the if necessary games we will be streaming likely so be sure to stay tuned subscribe to the channel and we will also be uh, making recap videos similar to what we do for the IHF World Juniors. So definitely come back to the channel. Make sure to hit subscribe, hit like, all of that. And let me know down below who you think is going to take this series. But of course, we'll finish it off here with June 18th, Game 5, June 21st, Game 6, and the last one on June 24th for Game 7. It's going to be a good series, and I can't wait to see who takes it. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like, you're subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on the 2024 Stanford Finals. Until next time, see you.